I'm John Molyneux. I'm the head of communications for Zero Waste Scotland, um, and I've, I've helped put the waste topic together for the Scotland Environment Report. We help individuals, businesses, organisations across Scotland to make changes that are going to reduce the impact of the resources they use, and that could be raw materials or energy or water. Waste is anything which is discarded, whether that's from a household or from a business or an organisation. The issue with waste is that there is a huge amount of energy and resource gone into producing those materials right from their extraction from the ground through to their processing into products and then um, the retail and distribution of those items to to their end markets. And that has impacts in terms of uh, greenhouse gas emissions and in terms of production of waste. Waste is a, is a big issue. Everyone is involved uh, in creating waste across the economy. Waste is a bad thing because of the emissions and the the waste of resources and energy that have gone into producing those materials. There's also issues associated with how we manage waste at the end of its life. Scotland historically had has, has had a dependency on landfill as a solution for managing waste. Landfill has a number of issues associated with it from release of methane, which is a particularly potent greenhouse gas, from the breakdown of organic material. There's also pollution into groundwater. So the big drive has really been to reduce the waste that we create full stop, but also to manage the waste that we do create in a way that's better for the environment. And for that, we follow a, a, a system called the waste hierarchy, which, which influences those choices that we make. The waste hierarchy is a very simple way of trying to encapsulate how we should be managing the waste that we do produce to minimise its impact on the environment. So that starts from preventing waste in the first place. So we should look at how we could minimise the production of waste through changing our behaviours or redesigning our products, down through things like how we can reuse items, then how we can recycle materials, and finally how we either try and recover some residual energy from materials or dispose of them to landfill. We want landfill to be the last resort. We want to think about preventing waste as the, as the primary goal of what we're trying to achieve. Waste comes from a number of sources. All waste which is required to be managed in a way to guarantee a sensible outcome for that waste is referred to as controlled waste. Within that controlled waste, we, break, we try to break that down as waste which comes from households and waste which comes from other sources, whether that's the commercial sector, industrial sector, or through construction activities. Some waste we would also classify specifically as hazardous waste, which just implies that there are specific controls that we need to put in place to mitigate the impact on the environment. So Scotland has long-term targets for recycling of waste through the Zero Waste Plan that the Scottish Government published in 2010. The headline target is for 70% recycling of all controlled waste by 2025. There's also a waste prevention target looking to reduce waste in total by 15% by 2025 from a 2012 baseline. We're making good progress. We currently estimate we are recycling just under 50% in Scotland and we've seen waste reduced by a significant amount over a number of years. To reduce waste and to increase recycling, the main thing we need to do is engage all areas of society. We need to make sure that businesses know how to prevent waste and have good recycling services. We also need to engage with people in their daily lives so they have the opportunities to reduce waste. And it's about giving people options. There's a broad range of things that people or organisations can do to minimise the impact of waste and to reduce the waste that they create. That can range from taking actions to reduce the amount of food waste that we produce in our homes to how we separate as many materials as possible for recycling. And it's also about looking at our shopping behaviours and looking at how we can purchase items which are naturally going to result in less waste. That could mean buying something that's second-hand, a reused item, for example, rather than buying new, so you're keeping things in circulation there's also a growing interest in looking at how we can share items, for example. So you might lease something rather than buy something. Zero Waste Scotland have a number of services that can help businesses or individuals to uh, to take actions. For a business, for example, that could include taking an audit to look at the waste they're creating and understanding what else they could do to minimise that waste. Through to individuals and householders, giving them practical tools and information through a number of websites, our Recycle for Scotland website, Love Food, Hate Waste, about giving people the information to make better decisions that would result in them reducing waste overall. Scotland has an ambition to develop a more circular economy. By a circular economy, we mean a system where 
resources are kept in use for as long as possible and we keep things in a high value use for as long as possible so we could look to reuse materials and ultimately we can look to design products in a way that avoids them becoming waste mobile phones could be designed in a modular fashion so instead of having to upgrade your whole phone you just upgrade part of your phone that's keeping things in productive use for as long as possible the total amount of waste that we produce in Scotland at the moment is about 11.5 million tonnes. Of that, we are currently recycling just over 5 million tonnes, so just under 50% total waste. That's working towards a long-term target of 70% recycling by 2025. If you go back to 2005, we produced over 20 million tonnes of waste, so that's a huge change in how we're managing waste and how we're producing waste. That's also been mirrored by... A huge increase in recycling. So going back to 2004, we recycled around 10% of our household waste. Now we're up to recycling about 42% of household waste. At the same time, we've seen a big move away from landfill. Only about 50% of our waste is going to landfill now. We're heading in the right direction. We're doing the right things. We do still have further to go. There is still a big job to do in terms of getting people to think about the choices they can make to reduce the amount of waste and make sure we recycle as much as we can.